Hey guys, Bobby here today. Hey folks, today we're going to be looking at our little Ford Ranger 2.5 liter. We have a P0401 EGR code. We're going to uh, take you through the diagnostic process of that and show you what it takes to get it fixed. So stay tuned. Okay, we have our Autel MS906TS hooked up here, our scan tool. And I uh, went ahead and pulled, got the system already put the vehicle and everything in. Got us to the point where we can read codes. And as you can see, we have the P0401, which is uh, EGR insufficient flow detected, okay? So now I'm gonna back out of this. I'm gonna go into some data and I wanna show you guys a few things you can do to diagnose this issue if you have a <clears throat> scan tool like this. Okay, now we have moved over into the scan tool where we've uh, made a selection on our active test, okay? So we're gonna choose a test here to do. And what we want to do here today is our EGR valve duty cycle. So I'm gonna click that test right there. It says uh, press and cancel button if monitor live data is not needed. Okay, so but I do want some live data. So I'm gonna hit okay. And let's see here. I want live data, let's see if I can find it, on the, uh, right here, the delta feedback pressure exhaust gas, re gas that's the TPFE sensor right there, and we want um, feedback on that as well, so, da, 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 da. I think I hit OK here, and that should pull us up where we need to be, okay, so it's going to show us the value on this while we're doing this test. So let me crank this up. And, um, and what I'm gonna do is hold this thing up above idle. I'm gonna bring it up to what feels like probably about 1500 RPM. 1500 to 1800 RPM. I'm gonna try to hold it there nice and steady. And what I'm gonna do is the, the scan tool is actually gonna start opening the EGR valve, okay? And when that happens, this voltage reading right here should go up to about four volts or so, okay? So let's just see what it's doing right now. As we increase, you're gonna see right here where we increase in percentage. So I'm gonna hit the button one time, that's 10%. There's 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 60%. You can hear the engine idling rub. The EGR valve is definitely opening, okay? So we know we got a clear passage and this number here is not doing anything. All right. So let me just bring this back down to normal again. So I can take my foot off the gas. Okay. So we actually made the EGR valve open. Okay. And the idle, of course, uh, went down. We could tell that the exhaust gas was going into the intake and it was making it start to idle rough. So, our EGR passage is clear. We know that because we just rebuilt this engine anyway. So, but we, I think we got a bad sensor, okay? Because this sensor is just really not doing anything. So let's go out and I'm going to show you how you can use the scan tool to check the wiring, okay? So let's do that right quick. Okay, folks, we're underneath the hood. Scan tool here is sitting right here on, on the core support. Daniel's got it zoomed in right here on this number right here, 1.28. I'm going to reach down right over here to the... Uh, sensor which is mount let, let them see where i'm reaching right here i'm reaching right over here it's just above the exhaust manifold the um the dpfe sensor is mounted right here to a bracket i'm gonna simply just unplug it okay so now go back to the scan tool what kind of voltage reading we got right there five okay a solid five volts there and that means our wiring is good okay so guys we already have a sensor here that we ordered and we are going to install this thing and then go back and double check all these numbers. Okay, I'm going to reach down here with my little quarter inch drive um, ratchet and uh, eight millimeter socket. And it's got two nuts that hold it on. So let me break these loose here. And I should be able to spin them off by hand. Go ahead and do that. Pretty simple uh, repair here, guys. We got the part, our new one here. Uh, show them the new one right there, Nathaniel. We got this one off of Amazon, and it had a pretty good high rating on it. We will put a link down below if you decide you want to purchase one of these off of Amazon as well. 
the price was very nice so we're going to definitely give it a try so let me go ahead and get these nuts uh, backed off of here and we'll unplug our hoses from the sensor and we'll pull the old one off and see what it looks like okay folks here's our old sensor here um i don't know uh, what i don't know if it's a motorcraft or what it could be original i'm not sure but anyway we're definitely going to replace it with this one here today and another thing that comes in handy is this little hose tool here um i'll try to see if i can find one of these on amazon and put it down below because you can just get right up on something and squeeze just like that to pop hoses off these things work really good and uh, i'll see if i can find a link to one of those so let me reach down in here and um, install this one and we'll get this thing hooked back up and we'll take a look at those data readings again okay we have the new sensor installed right down here everything's hooked up let's go back inside the vehicle with the scan tool and take a look at them readings now okay folks already i noticed something different with this one right here with the key on we got a reading of 0.99 so it's right at one volt instead of 1.29 so there is a difference there so let's go ahead and crank this thing up I'm going to do just like we did before. We're going to go ahead and do the um, exhaust uh, test where we open the EGR valve with the scan tool. We'll go ahead and bring that. Oh, it's actually moving now. So I'm through that other one was just stuck at 1.28. This one's actually, uh, looks like it's active. Looks like it's actually trying to do something now. That might be a plus. Okay, so I feel like I got it up about 15, 1800 RPM. Let's start opening up that valve and see what happens. Uh, look how that's jumping up there, guys. 2.5, 2.4, 2.6. It's definitely doing something, all right? It didn't hit quite the 4 yet. Let me see if I can open it up a little bit further. See if it'll jump higher. Jump 3.5, 3.59. I think we've definitely, we're up at 60%, so I'm going to bring her down. Guys, I believe we have corrected the problem because this sensor here definitely is doing something anyway. The other one was just saying stuck on 1.29. Okay, guys, that just about wraps up our video here. I do have one other thing I want to tell you in case you don't have a sophisticated scan tool that can do what ours will do. Another thing guys will do is right down here there is your solenoid, EGR solenoid. And some people will pop the cap off of that and then you can stick your finger over the center of it while it's running and that will actually um, make the egr valve open as well so if you at least had even a generic scan tool that would read data you would be able to look at the dpfe sensor voltage and see if there was a change when you revved it up to 1500 rpm so just wanted to let you know about that i think we've actually taken care of this problem um, those sensors are uh, notorious for going bad on forwards okay and this little diagnostic procedure will work on a lot of the different Fords as well. So thank you for stopping by today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check the description down there. I'll put a link to a few of the tools that we use today in today's video. Have a great day. See you next time.